Okay, and we're back. Wow, we're just commenting. That was that was an unbelievable performance of Blue Shades uh, by Frank Kelly, done by the uh, Morton High School Band and uh, Jeff Nevor, conductor. Uh, what what an outstanding performance! Yeah, you said it. It was a mic drop. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, at the end of that, that was great. That, you know, the 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 solo clarinet at the end and the bass clarinet solo. I played that bass clarinet solo. It is not easy, and uh, especially on an instrument like that, that maybe sometimes has a habit of not responding well. So right. Both of those musicians did a, a fantastic job, and, and and what a great blend of selections they did there. You know, the the Mother Earth by uh, David Mazlanka, uh, and the you know Granger Irish tune and the Kelly Blue Shades. I mean, they're all really cornerstones of the repertoire, but each in their own very different way. Mm -hmm. And it was a great combination. I'd love to ask him, uh, you know, how do you pick out that music? You know, for when you're looking at what you're going to do for Super State, how do you decide what you're going to do? So. If he comes out, maybe we'll have to ask him that question. Yeah, that'd be great to know. So I, I think that's an interesting, uh, it's always an interesting question. Uh, if you're a community band director, you've got a responsibility to your audience and to your members mm -hmm. and to yourself. Yeah. And if you're a uh, you public school, you have a, a, a duty to your audience, mm -hmm. for cer especially for certain concerts. But uh, the main focus is the students and to put a nugget far enough out for them to chase, but not too close enough for them to achieve too quickly and, right. and yet not too far out of reach where they get uh, discouraged. So uh, uh, a, a tough balancing act and then to be able to find a, something that blends together like a nice little 20 minute set, yes. uh, equally virtuosic. But I, I, I think that's true. I think uh, programming is the, it looks like one of these things when you see it, it's like, oh, it comes together and it's, but it, it, it's, it should be something that's Thought of a lot. Thoughtful, yeah. Yeah, Take for sure. Think about how these are all going to work together. Think about, and in fact, that's that's interesting. And, and to kind of segue back to what we've talked about, archiving uh, the uh, the things that we have there. Going back to the NBA event at Westchester mm -hmm. University mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania in February, we had a terrific roundtable discussion uh, both nights. And one of the nights we had three directors uh, from area Pennsylvania schools who are actually good friends. They're that we found out they're actually part of a poker group that gets together <laughs> once a month. But and they end up, you know, playing poker and talking. Are they members stuff, of you know, the base class yeah. perchance? Uh, possibly, very <laughs> possible. But we had a really fantastic conversation about programming and not, not just from a standpoint of this single concert, but in the context of the entire year. Right. How do you go about planning for that year, and that conversation is actually archived <coughs> as one of the uh, mm. part of the that uh, master class, or I don't know where it is on the website exactly, but it's um, it's in there, you know, with that. This West is from Chester last University. February. This is from last February. Yeah. Right. Okay. And uh, it was kind of uh, the uh, roundtable was kind of uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, moderated by uh, Andrew Yozviak, mm -hmm. who's the director of bands at Westchester University. So right. he's there, and it involved the three guest conductors that were there. Um, and then the three uh, high school band conductors that were there, and it was a beautiful conversation. So I encourage you, look at that. Uh, you know, that's just one of many things that are on the banddirector.com website, but take a look at that one because it was a, a really fantastic conversation. You're talking about, about a that. curricular arc that hits the academic year. Exactly, yeah, looking at it from the whole year and, and thinking in terms of you know, what can we accomplish realistically in the course of the year, knowing where my ensemble is at, mm. and really starting to think in those terms rather than, you know, deciding in December what you're going to play on the March concert or the May concert, you know, and, and having a plan overall and how it really can help shape your year and, and make the time more meaningful when you're doing those things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, well, uh, yeah, that's a, you know, you you can if you can you won't if you don't you know it's like mm -hmm. you can't you have to there's the there's some huge merit to that and i think that's one of those things that it's get, you, it can be that it's like oh i've got 500 800 thousand tunes in my library yeah the band starts next week i'll just go right and it, it uh thoughtful is the great mm -hmm. word for that it's yeah. got i think it's got to have all those things involved and uh mm -hmm. and if you can group them in, in ways that are thematic uh or have some sort of give you some sort of uh narrative from the stage when you do it you offer an increased uh, ability to engage with your audiences which sure. i think is a great message for students to be learning when they're in school as yes. well yeah. uh, uh mm -hmm. that uh that uh you know we're, we do this for for people to enjoy right so they so they should yes. and uh uh and i think that's uh this this these are great examples of these little snippets of uh what would be you know like uh at home, if they were doing something with intermission as a one ensemble concert, right. it would be half right. show, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, so yeah, that I think 
probably the best place to search for that on bandirector.com would be to go to the search by the uh, National Band Association there you go. Yeah. and Westchester University. Yeah. It'll probably get you to the area where all those uh, NBA videos. NBA Symposium, I think, is what it was called. Great. So, so anyway, it's right, it's right above us. He said, uh, oh, it is. Yeah. He just put it there. Rich Great. Rich says it's right above us. So uh, you know. the man behind the camera, now Rich Brisk, he just put a link to it right there directly. So uh, efficiency has happened. There That's we go. Go. Dave Knox, where are you? <laughs> on the fly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. He'll lose his job. Shh. Okay. All right, well, so we're nice getting sense. ready for the next uh, school, yes. M Metamora Township yeah. High School. Yeah. I'd ask you where this is, no, actually, but I looked. I oh, looked you looked, it you up. looked? Okay, because I know where it is, actually, but it's okay. You go ahead. Well, it's northwest of, uh, of Bloomington, but it's clo yes. much closer to Peoria, actually, in the northeast right, side of Peoria. Yeah, right in that area, and actually not far from Morton. Morton is uh, uh, right between Peoria and Bloomington Normal, actually, the home of Caterpillar is, is where that oh, is. Oh, that's right. So that's right. So, so they're going to do a, a, a really classic... Uh, uh, very classic and yes. recent classic set of music. Uh, they're going to play Gustav Holst's Moorside Suite. Mm -hmm. uh, the the just Moorside, just the just March, sorry. The, the, suite, the Moorside March. Nobody ever plays, and it's a great piece. It's Absolutely. a fantastic piece of music. Absolutely. And then they're going to close with David Muslanka's Give Us This Day. This right. is a uh, band is under the direction of Christopher Render. Right. And uh, so we're looking for forward to that performance very much, and congratulations to uh, Morton High School for, uh, for yes. a great performance. Fantastic. To fantastic open up our class to a... Uh, division this evening. We're going to we'll be with you all the way through uh, Tenley Park uh, High School, which is the class AA honor band this year, which will lead us right up to about 9.15. Uh, the University of Illinois Wind Orchestra, uh, under the direction of Dr. Elizabeth Peterson, will be presenting Scott McAllister's Crump, <coughs> and we'll have a treatise on crumping <laughs> from <laughs> Tom Merrill, <laughs> the new resident expert on crumping expert at bandrector.com. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> At bandrider.com, <laughs> he's definitely the world expert on crumping. Uh, so, but that, that's going to close out the day today, which is a great ensemble from the University of Illinois. And then we're back with you tomorrow morning, starting at 8:30, yep. uh, and uh, we'll sort of open up the stream at about 8:20 with a nice conversation about percussion early in the morning, so all the drummers will miss it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> darn, darn the luck. Yeah, that's yeah. all right. That's all right. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all of our sponsors, uh, particularly Festivals of Music, for uh, sponsoring this today's webcast, and uh, Tom Merrill, uh, their executive director, who's here with me today, co-broadcasting for uh, all your good, great uh, uh, liner notes. You're like a walking CD liner note today. Well, you know, it's it's. I mean, I've, I've always been you know a, a bit of a, a wind literature geek, I guess, yeah, in that great. respect, and I've always enjoyed that side of the study and knowing what's behind the pieces. So. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's great. This. I know. It's, 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 a, it's a nice sort of setup for what we're going we're gonna to get a chance to hear. And uh, we're going to, you know, for the rest of the night, Gustav Holtz, David Mislanka, Roger Nixon, Samuel Barber, Eric Whitaker, Hector Berlioz, All Julius Fuchuk, Sam very Hazel, and Francis Macbeth. Great combination tonight. Yeah, really knock, knocking down a whole bunch of great uh, literature. So, uh, but thanks so much to our uh, uh uh, great sponsors, especially Festivals of Music. All kinds of information there about next year's season at festivalsofmusic.com. And if you've got a pencil and you're into the phone number thing, if you still use those, I do, uh, you can call the toll-free number, which will get you right in touch with Tom here. It's 800-305-7565. We'll get you straight to Tom Merrill, and you can talk with him about all the exciting opportunities next year. Uh, at all of your venues. You said you had a new venue next year, right? Uh, yes, we are adding St. Louis as a location. And uh, we have, uh, for, for one of the weekends, we're doing two weekends, and, and one weekend was available. Uh, we have a, a, a beautiful location. It's the Hethausen uh, Performance Center, or Center for the Arts mm -hmm. at McKendree University, just on the Illinois side of the Mississippi River. I've played you there. You know, you know the hall? Yeah, i played there. Yeah, it's we're great. very it's excited to be there. It's a, it's a gorgeous location. Yeah. So uh, we've got that. I mean, that's one of, of many locations like that. We had a, uh, some great venues on the East Coast. Uh, I was talking about Schlesinger Concert Hall right. at Northern Virginia uh, Community College where, where a lot of the service bands actually make their, their recordings, their mm -hmm. CDs are actually recorded in that hall. Uh, we had the Wilder Center for Performing Arts at Norfolk State University, again, a, a spectacular uh, concert hall. Um, uh, we've got a, uh, there's a beautiful hall, uh, very not not well known, but a, a beautiful hall at Harper College in Chicago, out in the Palatine, up in the northwest suburbs. Oh, wow. It's just a, a great place to play. So we're really looking for these. We've got a brand new one in uh, New Orleans, the Jefferson Performing Arts Center in Metairie, hmm. that's only been open for about a year and a half. This is a brand new facility. So we've got some great places for groups to play. 
We're bringing in great clinicians to work with the kids. So we're very excited about the things that are happening. That's awesome. That sounds like those are great venues. I, I know a lot of those uh, halls and have played in several of those. And okay. yeah, McKendry, that's a great ad. Yeah, that's a great ad it in is. the St. We're Louis very area. Excited about that. Wonderful. Uh, uh, so uh, more information uh, at festivalsofmusic.com. And uh, so, so thanks to all of our sponsors who are involved, Ludwig Masters Publishing, Tromba Trumpets and Trombones, Super Holiday Tours, Eastman Winds, uh, Manhattan Beach, Bob Rogers Travel, Jupiter Band Instruments, Mapex Drums, Majestic Percussion, and our Illinois music uh, school music dealers that are helping out with this broadcast and with uh, the series Quinlan and Fabish and the Music Shop. So thanks to everybody for, uh, for participating and helping uh, bring this uh, live broadcast to you there in the uh, viewing mm-hmm. arena there out there in Bandland. Yes. <coughs> we should thank Edemotic as well. The Absolutely. The folks. Uh, a lot of their, their ads were running during our dinner break. Uh, and just again, the, you know, they're really, really bringing to the forefront the importance of musicians pra- protecting their hearing. Uh, and again, not just not just the, you know, the percussionists like you'd usually think about, mm-hmm. but even all across the entire spectrum, uh, you know, with brass players, with uh, you know, piccolo and flute players, and and uh, working to uh, protect hearing, yet still, you know, they've designed a great uh, earpiece that allows you to hear right. what you're playing without it being detrimental to your your uh, auditory health. So mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really important preventative uh, yep. measure to take yep. for certain uh, mm-hmm. for everybody because yeah, it's uh, cumulative. It is, and it takes a long much. time for it to start showing up as being problematic. And by that point, it's a uh, it's hard to yeah reverse. hard to reverse it exactly for sure. So. All right, sounds like Metamora Township and Christopher Render is about ready to start here. Get ready for some Gustav Holtz, the Moorside March from Moorside Suite, and David Maslanka's Give Us This Day. Let's enjoy. <laughs> 